nothing like good old validation errors to make you think. Uh, oh, so the deal here is that now I have to disable the confirm your email message. Uh, which, it's doable. There's a way to do it somehow. Um, okay, we're in Homely Lily, though. Find R must confirm email include only Scala files. Uh, what did I mess up? It's not called find, it's called grep. Alright, that's how you know it's the morning. That's how you know. Um, Alright. Uh, let's just say grep lr. And put this all in quotes and say vim all this stuff. A must confirm. Alright, this is the change I need to make. Say in case, you know, I don't care what value you have, always just allow the person in, even if they haven't confirmed their email. Um, okay. And let's keep that running. While I attempt to log in again. Just attempt to log in. And see where we get. Let's leave that going. Because why not? Uh, this would be a nice time for some chess pursuit. But no, I think this will be um, ready for testing soon. We'll see. Oh, we shall see. Word. Oh my god, I'm in. I'm having a very difficult time believing it worked. Um, but just to show you, this is what I'm looking at. And apparently I am in. Um, Alright Stockfish, you and me buddy. Or not. Whatever. I was in for a second. For an instant it looked like things might be working. Uh, okay. Yeah, none of the links work. Um, yeah, let me turn off my styles and stuff. Okay, they, they aren't breaking anything anyhow. Um, let's try this. Okay, that's there. Let's try this. That's there. Let's try this. It's also there. Okay. So, what gives? Uh, why do none of the buttons work? Okay. Which window are we capturing? Okay, we're back at our console. Um, something is confusing. Uh, what gives? Why can I not click on anything? Let me check the documentation. 
Perhaps the developers in their infinite wisdom had foreseen this possibility, but I doubt it. Um, Okay. Are there any troubleshooting tips? I'm guessing I'm probably missing some database stuff, something or other. Uh, 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 uh. Seriously, what gives this time? Um, Alright, so there doesn't appear to be very much information here. Um, so... Well, I was about to introspect the database, but I'm not sure what I'd be looking for. Uh, let's watch Leech S TV. Okay, page not found. Let's um, return to the home page. The home page is found. Let's go to my forum. My forum's found. Let's start a tournament or something. I mean, all these buttons seem to work, except for the play a game, create a game, and all that. Uh, perhaps that's all disabled, just because I haven't... Okay, well, what about theming and sound? I mean, some of that should work, right? If I click on all this stuff, this should all work, in theory. Um, and my username should work. Okay. Oh. Okay, we'll pick something. I'm so confused. Like, some of the pieces are here, some of them aren't. Sure, whatever. Um, hey, we got sound now. Okay. Um, so, maybe I have to just do a UI build. Maybe I'm missing some of the um, content that should be there. Even though I did a build earlier and everything seemed to work well, perhaps it just terminated prematurely. Um, Yeah, I'm wagering that my UI components aren't working because this build still needs to um, verify its integrity. Uh, what else could I do here? Uh, I could get started on ensuring I have my stockfish as opposed to uh, uh, official stockfish. Um, it's an option. It's probably easier if I just start with what's known to work. And then once I have something working, uh, then try to do trickier stuff. So, 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 it's all still compiling and stuff. Um, I'm going to take a minute to play my correspondence chess games. while I get those out of the way.
Huh. Oh, there's the music. I should hack in my own music. Okay, so I am in check. Oh, I am in check. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to break this blockade, so I need to move over this way. Alright, next correspondence game. Uh, King and Queen are still trying to make a run for it. Uh, it's actually quite annoying. Okay, we're going to control some space over there, but more importantly get the G3 square under my domain. Uh, and maybe even play G5 and start controlling more of this space near that. And if I have some difficulties, then maybe throw in Bishop D6. Um, Alright, those are my correspondence games. Uh, I have to keep on top of those because, well, why not? All right. Uh, is this done yet? No, it's not. Uh, what other games could... Well, let's reload Steam. Um, let's see, what else is building here? Um, I just find it amazing that... Um, some of the menus work and some of them don't. on these pages. Oh, here's a thought. Why don't I check out? Um, surely there must be a way to view errors or things. Um, yeah, let's inspect the page and see just how many errors I observed. Okay, so I got a couple 404s, um, missing two JavaScript files, uh, <laughs> one of those being leechess.lobby. Yeah, I would explain it. That would definitely explain a lot of things here, so... Chess lobby is not defined, socket receive is undefined, and number of errors just continues to increase by the second. Um, okay, so what's it building here? I can't tell which project it's starting on or ending on with each of these trees. It's a dependency tree. Oh, lobby. Excellent. So either that just started or just finished. If it just finished, I can refresh and my leeches experience will be much better. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh... Hey, check this out. So while that's all compiling and building stuff, um, I just go. So, oh, hey, look, I, I now know how the pawns move. It's very important that, okay, let's pick this maple board. I prefer the maple board. It looks awesome. Um, sure, stockfish. It's all up to you now, stockfish. Um, how cool would it be if this actually worked the first try? Oh, how cool would that be? 
Oh, we don't need this. Yeah. So we're just waiting for our opponent to move. No big deal. It's a pretty casual correspondence game. Uh... So, let's see. AI timeout exception. Why am I not surprised? Um, okay, so since this is all busy in this tab, doing compilation, I'll open up an additional tab to start debugging the stockfish things that are going on. Uh, source leeches. Uh, Vagrant SSH. Okay. Um, So what do I want to do here? I need to find why Stockfish is not responding. So let's start um, by just examining the logs, seeing what's missing. Um, refresh this page to reissue the move. And oh, hey, look! There's no directory. Ah, uh, uh, I misconfigured this. That's the deal. Not a leech us error at all. It's just me being clumsy. Um, so. That's okay. I'm allowed to make mistakes as long as I'm the one who has to fix them. Um, come to think of it, I. Yeah, I give pretty explicit direction verbally as to the person helping me try to set this up. Told them exactly where Stockfish should be located. Repeated it multiple times at their request, and they still didn't enter it right. But that's okay, it's not too hard to track that down, thanks to good logging. Um... Refresh. Ah, of course, it's got to reload stuff. Um, so, one second. Let's put this in back in place. Books, uh, CD Leela. There we go, we got some log files we can follow. Okay, permission denied. Oh, okay. Well, that one's also my fault for assuming more than can be assumed. Um, have to reconfigure this again. The execution path actually ends in the binary name. I knew that. I try to run it local stockfish source stockfish uh, okay make build 
build arch. Wait, what's the deal? Why is this not building? Why does my stockfish fail to build? I don't think I've done anything wrong. Um. Make help? Yeah, that's not it. Oh, G++ not found. Okay, that's why it's failing. Um, I have to install G++. Ubuntu. Well, hang on. G++. If I try to run this... Oh. Tells me the package that I have to install it is literally G++. But, uh, Ubuntu development tools? do I do this for Ubuntu 14? Okay. I'm going to assume that we just use the same thing for Ubuntu 14 that we do for 12. Okay. I don't even remember which Ubuntu I'm running here. So how do I get like GCC and all the other fun stuff? Yep, yep, yep. I'm thoroughly unimpressed by this documentation. Um, System, da, 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 da. So I've gone through a bajillion tutorials here. Okay, Build Essential and CMake are two very useful tools, I think. I don't need CMake for what I'm doing, but Build Essential, um, yeah, we're going to get that. Sudo apt get install things that I can't type. Um, oh, I can't do that as this user. Uh, sudo apt get install stuff. Okay, this is going to install G++ suggested packages. Multilib um, documentation. Documentation is probably a good thing, uh, so let's add to that uh, GCC 48 doc. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, I think I'm cool. Actually, yeah, let's get some. Let's get all this stuff. Eh, why not? Um, 
Let's see, and as I suspected, this probably did not get uh, that last dependency, this lib standard C++ doc. So, I'm going to grab all these uh, and add them into my environment builder script. Um, yeah, I really don't need... In fact, why am I getting lib, lib standard C++? Yeah, I don't need any of that fancy stuff. I just need GCC48 doc. Well, no, that's not true. We're going to get it all. Yep, yep, yep. Just install it. Uh, is this done yet? Okay, this is done. So I'm going to... Let's see, where did I install all my tools? Uh, one such tool that I installed was ZSH. Grip R ZSH star. And we're gonna add to this all the stuff that I just figured out that I needed. Okay. Uh, GCC blah blah blah. Uh, need more than that. We need all this stuff. It's build essential. I don't even know if I need Debian keyring or not, but at this point I'm not ruling anything out. I'm going to rule everything in and we can trim this down later if it ends up being too bloated. Um, I should not need to go get GCC after getting all that. Uh, but per my policy that I just explained, um, eh. no, this should include GCC, and if it doesn't, there's a problem there. If it doesn't include both GCC and make, then something's wrong with build essential. <laughs> Um, okay. Not that I need to touch any of that right away. Now I also do need to fix my configuration file. Uh, preferably doing that not on the stream. Okay, so let me take care of that. I think this is under... Oh, where is it? Not there. Um, there we go. And now we'll dig an SSH back into the box. Okay, this is Ubuntu 14. 1404. Uh, sudo su lila cd lila um, tail f logs Show me what's happening. What I'm testing today is my leech s instance. Believe it or not, I actually got it to compile. And I successfully logged in and all that good stuff. And now I'm verifying that games are actually playable on it. And once I verify that games are playable, the next step is to get my stockfish, as opposed to the one that's currently being used or deployed here. Um, Alright. Oh, right, so I forgot to build stockfish. Oops. Um, uh, CD local. 
actually bim bin install stockfish. Yeah, so we're going to remove RF local stockfish and I'm going to reinstall it. Oh, it's installing in debug mode. Um, it's still optimized, but uh, it's probably fine. All right, test, test, test. Do all the testing. All right. Um, refresh. Hey, we got to move. Good old stockfish. Always threatening to take my stuff. Cut it out, stockfish. It's not funny. Alright, so... But yeah, look at that ping time. That immediate response from stockfish. It's amazing. Um... I'm trying to remember, what were my custom changes to make it move even faster? Check. Dude, what the heck? Am I not playing against level 1 stockfish? And if I am, how come it's moving? Um, okay, there's a bad move. It made a single bad move. It made another bad move. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Um, so that's all well and good. That's very good. Let me check one thing here. Uh, there should be... I don't even remember where it's at on the menu. Developers. Yeah, I should be able to embed this to my web page. Well, obviously it's not working, but uh, if there were a game to watch and... Okay, Leech STV's not found. I wonder why Leech STV's not found. Anyhow. Um... Yeah, so let me um, re-add some of my changes that I think were lost at some point. Yep, Stockfish is ready and so forth, I get that. Um, so what I'm going to work on here... Oh, hang on. Before I get too deep into this... Uh, where am I located? Get branch. List all the van branches. Okay, so I'm currently on deploy. Um, get... Uh, what's the word? Check out... Create a new branch. Just call it that. It's going to be all my temporary changes. Um, actually... Get branch, list them all. Whatever, that works. I can't be bothered to do anything more creative than that right now. Um, so I'm going to improve the AI in various ways. Um, one is to reapply my custom changes, uh, which I've backed up somewhere else here. Um, so let's take a look. Where did I put everything? Um, where'd it go? Somewhere around here. Uh, 
get diff. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to edit this file, this config.scala. Um, where's my window? Here it is. And we're going to change the amount of time per move. Um, per what I ultimately came up with before my machine got replaced. Uh, so changing this here that's my new formula for how long it should spend to think on stuff um, is that the only change I made in that file no okay and then go move time I changed this here. Let's say okay. Oh, okay. So these are basically my biggest changes that I made. Um Okay, and what did I do here? Go move time and then depth. And then there's this depth function. Oh, I did change the depth function. Yeah, here we are. So these are all the changes I made uh, during my testing before I cut over to the new machine. Replacing this stuff, this stuff, this stuff, this stuff. There we go. That should produce more interesting results. Um, just in terms of having a levels mm, play more consistently. Um, just to show you what this looks like uh, as a comparison, as opposed to me just adding and removing lines of code. Um, here are specific changes. So I'm saying that um, skill level should be more equitably distributed, not just um, well, basically lower skill levels should play less smartly, um, but also. Uh, not be bounded in the same ways that they used to be bounded. So we'll see a lot more inaccuracies and mistakes and not as many blunders. And this is gonna more represent how a human plays. Um, so let's get a rematch with level one. Okay, we'll get a rematch any second now. Where is my rematch? It'll be here. But that was one very small part of what I intend to change. The larger picture is that I want um, to get AI and a uh, horde chess going. Yeah, it must be compiling. Yep, that definitely looks to me as if something's happening. Oh, which reminds me... Well, I suppose for compiling Stockfish I don't need to use all the cores, but there's no harm in it.
Okay, is it done compiling? Yeah, here's my rematch with Stockfish. Let's see, will it move? There's a song about that. What? There's a song about it being Friday. Yeah, it's the best song of all time. Yeah. I'm gonna make it my ringtone. You should. Um. So I worked something in my change that I just made. Is there a... I don't think there's a stockfish output log. Um, so what did I break? Level equals blah blah blah. Uh, skill. Depth. Well... Hmm. It's kind of a bummer. I want this to work because this was working before I started development. Um, let me just open up the file and see like if anything obvious stands out. It's probably a extra parenthesis or missing parenthesis somewhere. Okay, that matches up. Um, map all this. Yeah, that looks good. And This matches up. It all looks good. Um. <sighs> well. Well, well, well. That serves me right for trying to do something clever. Um. Why did that not work, though? I mean, obviously I have to back out the change, unless I can quickly figure out what the heck happened. Um, that's a bummer. What a bummer. Okay, so... Yeah, I got nothing. Um, get stash. Oh. Right, I still have to set all that again. Yeah, I'm not doing that on stream right now. Um, so... Um, we're going to revert this change. Um, and try again. Time. Let me go in on my other screen and add in my username and whatever it was I was asking me for. Uh, was it user dot name and user dot email or something? I'm just getting the variable names here. I'm not actually going to type it in this screen. Oh, that was much faster than expected. Do I have a move? Move. Okay. Uh, well, that's too bad.
Have I changed anything? I think I don't didn't change anything too major here. Yeah, that that's not a problem. Well, let's try this again. Refresh. I'm going to get the same result, but... Um, yeah, this is something that was working, but only if I got the white pieces. Like, watch, if I try this again. I move. Well, this was working earlier. Yeah, highs and bugs are fun. It was working. You'll just have to believe me. You gotta believe me. And you wish you were. How does the how did I even break this? I'm just that good that I can break things and then not be able to track down how I broke them. Um let's see. Would anybody in the audience care to take a crack at it? Uh, did, did not think so. Alright, so... I mean, and I know it's something dumb, too. And it's not something in Stockfish code, it's something in this Scala Java stuff. Um, If I could even trace this to the line of our code that causes it, that would be something impressive. Um, okay, Leela config.co line 49 is where the failure happens. With an illegal format conversion exception. I might actually have a chance of figuring this out. Despite not knowing Scala. Um, 49. Alright, so we have a illegal something or other exception. Um, you know, maybe just... Maybe it failed to recognize that I backed out my change. And I just need to restart Leech Us here. That might be it. What else could it be? Well, okay, there's actually an exception type. Scala.sum. I mean, I know it's trying to parse um, that which I'm providing here at line 49. Position R dot fen R dot moves. Um, it's possible maybe one of these two arguments is missing. I'm so confused. That's happening on line 49. So, case match, or, okay, go with request request. Check whether the request is a play request or an analyze request. Um, and if this is a play request, parse it thusly. A play request must consist of a position, and I, This is functional programming. 
What troubles me most here is case R versus case... Oh, no, R is just the argument. Yeah, we're checking if requirement is of type play request or of type analyze request. Um, just for sanity's sake, I'm going to change that here. Not that it's going to change how that works. Um, let's see it. And... Uh, what do we do? Define go. Oh, okay. So the return type is a combination of the position plus this string, and the string gets uh, could potentially get passed to an engine. Um, now, what about line 49 here is the issue? Well, how would I get the exception I'm getting on line 49? Where it's saying d is not equal to scala.sum. Um, print integer. So it's trying to take a scala.sum and print it as an integer. I'm going to reintroduce my change, which simplifies some of this. And which, prior to me changing my box, this was all working. So, yeah, I'm going to take the move time, own book, scale and depth functions, um, all this stuff, scrap it. So that's not where I'm going anyhow. And add in this code that I'd written. Um, and then in terms of printing things out, let's print it this way. Instead of that way. And am I missing anything? It's better than nothing. Um, I should probably also change this here. Do I did I change that? Apparently not. I should change this though. So we got 960, King of the Hill, 3 check and horde. Um, well, it's interesting that that's still there. Um, Well, no, I don't have Atomic included in the things that I can add to that list. But Horde is pretty cool. Um, yeah, whatever. This will work-ish. Uh, refresh. And here we can look at all the output live as it happens in this console. Um, I should update my stream title because I'm actually doing stockfish development instead of preparing to start to prepare to do it. Out of memory error. Um, okay, so they think the out of memory error yeah. I don't know what that was. Um, or what caused that. Okay, so I'm going to restart um, Lee Chess here.
where was this all failing here? This is on Leela AI config go, line 49 still. Well, it's encouraging that um, I can see the AI class being rebuilt here. So I have something not right about how um, scale is deploying and stuff, but uh, I'll figure out appropriate usage later. So yeah, um, it says the server started, so if I refresh this page, maybe I'll get a result, maybe I won't. All bets are kind of off at the moment, but um, I do see that the page is still trying to refresh. Uh, which just means that I haven't connected just yet. Okay, I see things getting logged. Okay, so we get the same error message. D is not equal to scale of that sum. Um, and it's possible that this is just a different version of scale of thing, and that code that previously worked might not work under this environment. Um, so. I'm going to try something. So this accepts a level which is an integer. Oh, I need to somehow box. Um, okay, I'm making progress here. Um, this is my bug, I think. Where's my level box thing? Int box. Huh. <laughs> um, okay, I see how that is. Uh, where's int box? And can int box work for um, a single value? Int box this. Wait, where's skill defined? Skills defined there. Was anything necessary to get that to work? I don't think so. Okay. Um, I think I can comment things. Well, I don't know how to comment things out here. So I'm just gonna delete things that, with extreme prejudice, basically. Um, there we go. Recompile that, please. So I've cut the problem space in half by um, making this a lot simpler. Now it will not filter by depth, only by move time. 
Um, so if depth were what was causing the problem, it shall no longer. Um, so I got a 50-50 chance that I've removed the part of the code that was causing the problem. And there's a 50-50 chance the problem's still there. Well, yes, yeah. Yeah, I, I've certainly dealt with out-of-memory error before. I'm not concerned about that. Um, because I would see much different behavior if I was consistently out-of-memory. And this exception that I'm encountering um, was happening long before I saw the out-of-memory error. But, that does... That does mean that I do need to change my SBT launcher um, or learn what are the appropriate arguments to pass into the simple build tool. Because uh, obviously it did not respect um, the memory options I was providing. I mean, it is surprising because I did allocate 4 gigs of memory. Uh, for this Java uh, virtual environment or virtual machine, but hmm. okay, there we go. So now it moved. Uh, if I move again, it's going to move again, and so forth. So let me reintroduce the problematic code, just because why not? Um, the issue here. Okay, so I need to re-add depth based on r.level and say depth percent d here. And I think this is what was problematic earlier. Um, Okay, and I'll go back here and force it to recompile the class by killing Leech Us and reopening it. Um, and just to get a sane test, I'm going to do a take back as soon as I can on this game. see that things are happening in the log. I'm going to do a take back and reissue the same move and see if it successfully makes a move. Um, sure, why not? It's my turn. Awesome. Let's take back. Or not. <laughs> The take back button should work. Um, there we go. So yeah, I think I've identified the cause of the problem. It has to do with the new code uh, over here. So this thing where I take an integer and uh, based on it I'm outputting an option integer and I need to not do that because uh, the string formatter doesn't do well with that. Um, okay. So can I just do this? 
get level box of level. See, the one thing I don't like here about is the level box. Um, it just says, oh, box the value as an int. Okay, so I get it now. This is But why is this um, function returning a type of option int as opposed to just returning a type of int? We're saying that in this map, for the value of level box of level, um, get a value out of here and return it as an option of int as opposed to just saying return it as an int. That's where I'm confused. Is why is this part here? Uh, I'm going to take that out and see what happens. force this to recompile again. I mean, yeah, in my previous environment I was able to change lines of code and they would get applied without me having to restart the Leela instance. Somehow it's less reliable here in my experience this morning. Um, but because start, stopping and starting Leela isn't such a big deal Oh, okay. I uh, got an error on my new code. <laughs> Out of memory error, metaspace. Um, so I guess that means I have to not only pause Leech Us and force it to recompile, but actually take it completely down and back up anytime I make code changes until such time that I figure out um, what's different between this and the previous iteration of the simple build tool. So yeah, you guys can see that stuff's compiling. Uh, feel like hackers or whatever by seeing numbers that move fast. Uh, let me get some food. Try that once more. D is not equal to scale of that sum. Mm.
<laughs> Whatever. So... I mean, this looks like a perfectly well-formatted string. Um. Hmm. Yeah, just imagine with sentient computers, what are all the awesome things you could achieve? I know that's not what we ultimately want, but I can see if I can get move time to function um, in lieu of r dot level, or in lieu of depth. Um, That's not what I'm looking for, unfortunately. Um. String dot format arguments, as I thought. So what's the deal? I don't know. I just trust this, but we'll see. Alright, Stockfish, it's your move, buddy. Don't give me that same exception. Um, I probably got the same exception. Right, Stockfish. You can do it. I believe for some reason in you. Don't leave me hanging, bro.
Okay, so what this means... Uh, specifically... Um, I could use move time there, but depth I cannot use. So there's some difference in between what move time returns and what depth returns. So what's wrong about the values of what I'm returning? Do I need to box that as an integer or something? I'm so confused as why can't I just do this? Hmm. I mean, how different is this from what previously was there? So I took a mapping of numbers and changed that to return a different number. And in so doing, well, between that and between, I guess, my other code that got changed down here, I broke something. I guess I need that dot, question, question mark, whatever. Which I guess says if I don't have a depth limit, um, just return the string literal. Um, in fact, yeah, that's exactly what this is doing. Why did I change this in the first place at all? Oh, because I don't need variant in there anymore. Um, it's not a good reason to do exactly what I did. Yeah, that's the correct way to do it. We're gonna try that. I wanna see that work. So now AI level eight will be depth unlimited. 
Hmm. At least unlimited by configuration. Practical implementation might impose a limit anyway. Alright, so I'm looking over here. Yeah, it's Scala. Good stuff. Um, yeah, generally I do try to comment out code, and over the last year I've been trying to do that in Scala, and I just don't understand commenting inside Scala. It's probably Java style commenting, but I've encountered so many problems um, that just today I'm going with like the nuclear option in every case. Just going for the most extreme possible solution. Uh, just to remove all ambiguity of what could possibly be happening. Is coding experience required to develop games? Eh, probably. Although, um, there are game maker tools that try to make it easier for people who don't understand soft uh, for coding. Um, and, like, I've seen, not just for game development, but I've seen, um, like, forever ago, Lego produced these robots that you're able to move about and, in a sense, program. Um, you're able to drag and drop these commands onto the robot um, using Windows, Windows, and a mouse. And, um, so to some extent, coding is becoming more accessible for people who don't understand coding. Um, but if you're trying to make a... Well, it depends what you're trying to do. It always does. Um, uh, there is... I did see a interesting game made by, by a person who didn't really know coding that well. Um, well, I guess I don't even need to go there. Um, you don't need to be a professional coder or something like that. Because there, you can pick these things up. Um, let me see if I can find this. Um, just designed by a person who, um, whose formal training is in piano. They made this game, uh, Loxball. And, I mean, okay, sure, I'm sure it took some coding to get this to work, um, but, yeah, I mean, anybody could get something done, but it depends what your goal is. If you're trying to make the best game ever, you might need to study a little bit of coding to figure out how to do that, or know a language. Like, can you imagine writing if you don't know English? I'm sure you could come up with something, but it might not be what you're aiming to come up with. Uh, uh, let's see, there's also... anyway. Um, yeah, there's another fun game. Um, there's Chess Pursuit. Uh, this is probably also designed... I don't know who made this, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, you just move your king around. So, I mean, you don't need, like, perfect coding skills to come up with some of these games. Um, but the more you know, the more options you have at your disposal. Um, can you imagine going to some kind of place to eat food with friends, and all the food you know about are just waffles? And you go there, and you're like, I would like a waffle, and... Um, your friends look at you like, what are you doing? It's not nine in the morning. Get some real food. And you're like, uh, but I don't know what food is. And I guess my point is that the more you know, the more options you have in really any field of expertise. Um, and you don't need to be a perfect coder or know all the languages to be used, good at something. Um, I haven't used Unity. I've heard good things of it, but never used it. Um, okay, so... 
Uh, let's back up to the start and see if my depth unlimited change uh, works. Yeah! Now we're cooking with gas. So it's only limited in the amount of time it's spending on a move. It can look infinitely deep. Oh, by hung a pawn. Let's attack the queen. Attacking's fun. Um, I need to install my uber mega YOLO book. The enormous opening book. Um, Alright, let's get the king over here. Bring the bishop back. And check. And uh, check again. Uh, let's move the rook back. Uh, hit the rook. Oh, that's kind of a problem. Uh, okay. Ah, well played, Stockfish. Well played. <laughs> so. Made some progress. Stockfish beat me. Uh, can Stockfish analyze the game? Probably. Let's go, go, go. Um, so I have a couple things to sanitize about this environment. Because it's using a slightly different version of simple build tool than the one I previously used. Um, so let me peek at like what options I expect to get set that aren't getting set. Um, yeah, if I'm operating in headless mode, uh, with minimum, maximum, Oh. Yeah, so I bet simple build tools doing something that's not so simple. Um. Yeah, so it's adding some arguments in here that I did not add. I only added the capital XMS and capital XMX. And these other arguments, um, I did not add these. I want those to go. Uh, so I'm going to correct that. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, pseudo vim user bin sbt x um, wait. x mx that's not it all right doop boop 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 doop um, I think in here somewhere there's a thing called SBT Launcher. Yeah. This is the real thing I need to find and edit. Uh, where is it? So I reference this way down here. Um, and I'm going to go fix this. Pseudo vim this stuff. We'll locate it first. X and X. Yeah, this is the thing I was saying you need to go edit this to grab these two lines and say elif or is it elsif? It's elif. Um, 
And what was I saying I needed to do? Yeah, just grab this, stick it in here. Uh, right. So I'm, at, I'm already specifying how much memory to use. Don't override my specification. Man, what a pain that is. Alright, so that means the next time I go to run my LeechS instance, hopefully it won't run out of memory. Uh, and that's probably going to go way over anybody's head, and there's no hope at me explaining it, but... All right, well, it works. Um, obviously, I'm going to give it a little bit more testing. I think I should add back in that cap. That depth, well, no. We'll leave it be. Um, actually, no, there is a reason to have the cap. It's not to limit the strength of the engine, but rather to prevent against stupid errors. Um, um, so CD Leela, go edit that file once more. Stupid errors could happen if it gets to a depth that's too high and something doesn't work right, so I'm going to re-add that. But yeah, it works. It all works. Everything's well and good. Yeah, Stockfish never makes inaccuracies. It's just... I'm sure it's lying to you somehow. Um, uh, well, let's see. What's this inaccuracy? Uh, I'm sorry, that's me. H3. Oh, wait. <laughs> Inaccuracy is a funny term for it. Stockfish does not always play the top ranked move. Um, it will deviate a little bit between moves because that actually strengthens it. Its way of ranking and rating moves will not always come up with the right answer at the top of the list every time. So it does alternate between moves to strengthen itself. I mean, it's not always going to play the move that has the highest number, because then to beat the program, somebody would just need to say, you know, I'm going to make an engine, and it's going to print out exactly what Stockfish is going to move, and then based on that, I'm going to make my move selection such that Stockfish makes a move that I think is bad. So that's why that bit of randomness is thrown in there. Um, Otherwise, you'd be able to make a program that beats Stockfish by predicting exactly what it's going to do. With this randomness, you can't exactly predict it anymore. Yeah, it's kind of clever in a way. Um, so, with that all said... Um, I don't know, I'm going to attempt to get people onto this um, once I've got my AI installed and we can start testing the AI. Uh, I still need to firewall off and secure this all, but uh, I think it works pretty well. Um, so Honestly, I don't care who logs in, creates accounts, whatever against it right now. There are a couple people that I'm interested in doing so, but for the most part, at least until I get my AI going and I get, um, what's it, um, and I change the LeechS code to utilize the AI, there really isn't too much point in people using this. One thing that is kind of fun about this is that I'll just... Oh, come on. Come on! It was up a minute ago. Don't give me that. Ah, 
cannot allocate memory. Yeah, something's wrong about my virtual environment. I crashed my virtual environment. That's too bad. I was doing so well, too. Yeah, there's... Oh, I only... Okay, I get it, I get it. So I allocated 4 gigs of memory for the machine, and I told Java it could use 4 gigs of memory. And um, there's a small conflict there in that I actually need to allocate more if I'm saying that Java can use up to 4 gigs. Um, that's my bad. Um, yeah, so Ooh, I hate to do hesitate to do this, but we're going to try to reprovision the environment. Maybe that'll allocate enough memory. I don't know. But anyhow, yeah. Um, once this is back up and running, pe feel free to use it. I don't really care. I'm not telling you what the address is, but if you look on the stream, you can see it. Um, but there's really no point until I get all my AI stuff in there. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to doing some AI testing this weekend. So yeah, after a month or so of preparation, we're ready to go. Alright, see you then.